Good morning, y'all. I just got out the freaking bed. I'm sitting here trying to rub some lotion on this tattoo, honey, because this thing is so dry. I should have tried to show it to y'all before I just put some lotion on it. I'm trying to get y'all up. Oh, y'all can see my bag, honey. I ain't got no glasses down here. Oh, well. But here's my tattoo. And it is healing, as you can see. It looks splotchy. Because the scab's coming off. And I just put some Lubriderm on. Today is Friday, July. Damn, I don't got no calendar on the wall right there no more. What is it? July 17th, I think. And is. Sure is. Um, I was supposed to be getting my nails done today. I had an appointment. Um, I think I had told y'all. So I finally found a black nail artist that does feet and nails and she has a actual spa your chair or whatever she does acrylic on feet and everything and i'm so excited appointment is supposed to be today at 5 30. yesterday she told me that she had to make an appoint a doctor's appointment for her son because her kids were playing and pranking each other and burn his face. And I guess that's the only appointment she can get or whatever. And I don't know the girl. I've never been to her yet. This is my first time. She seems very nice. Um, I have been putting a lot of people on trying to get them to book with her. Even though I haven't booked with her, I haven't been serviced by her personally yet. She just had very good customer service and um, I, I feel like she is professional and, you know, serious about her business. She is not like, you know how some of them, uh, a lot of black nail artists, like, they'll have 100,000 followers or whatever, and they got all these rules, and it's like, I feel like a lot of them be overcharging. I might be cheap. Like, I don't want to be spending over $100 to get my nails and my feet done. Like, ooh, child looks so tired, honey. I need to put some glasses on. But, yeah. So, I'm gonna get this done. Cause my nails are really short and square. Like, I don't feel like, and I mean, they done grew out pretty long now. This is like the longest my nails really, I ever really ever have my nails. And these is all, if you could see in the tips, up under that's all my real nail so like i don't know and i don't really be doing like a lot of designs and all that other kind of stuff so i just feel like paying 65 dollars 70 dollars for my nails every time i get them done is ridiculous and she starts her full sets out at 45 dollars, which i think is a lot more reasonable because that's including gel polish already so anywho yeah, I was just trying to put people on to the girl. But back to what I was saying, I I was confused. That's my curious, y'all. I was confused as to how, if you already know his face is burnt, why he not going, why y'all ain't taking him to the emergency room versus making a doctor's appointment? But I guess, I don't know. Maybe it was. it's not that bad, you know. So... I don't know what's that, what that is about, but at least, you know, she didn't wait until the day of, and she um gave me another appointment for the weekend, so at least I don't have to go to work with busted nails. So, Sunday morning, I'm going, and then also she offered to give me a discount, which I appreciate that, oh shit, please don't break, Damn. I was trying to sit y'all down so I could put my glasses on. I done dropped the damn bottle of essential oil. It done fell down the steps. But anywho, um, yeah, she offered a discount for having to cancel last minute and reschedule my appointment, which I greatly appreciate. Like, I don't even need the discount 
it still. But in the, the fact that you offered it, I appreciate that. And then also that you didn't wait until literally the day of, even though it was like a day or two before, because I don't remember if it was yesterday or the day before that. I think it was yesterday. I don't remember. But either way, I done had um, appointments with a lot of these Instagram stylists and stuff, and they be so unprofessional. Like, one girl texts me that morning because I'm trying to see. I haven't texted her the night before trying to get the address and stuff to make sure I'm on time. You know, in Atlanta, like, something might be 15 minutes away. might be 45 minutes away. You don't know. So I needed to know that night before to make sure that I was up early enough to get to my appointment. Do you know that morning homegirl had an attitude first off? Like, I think she had said something about messaging her too early or some shit like that. And then she was like, um, that her friend or somebody, or was it her, that they had to go to court this morning and she ain't know, so she ain't gonna be able to make it. And we gonna have to cancel my appointment and some other shit. And then the girl did not want to give me my damn deposit back. And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, okay. Because this appointment was on a Monday morning. I think it was. It was on a Monday morning. I remember. And I was confused because I'm like, you just found out that you had to go to court Monday morning. On Monday morning. Girl, if you don't get out my damn, um off my phone with that baby girl because baby girl you been new to shoot your ass head to go to goddamn court or you taking somebody or whatever the hell regardless that ain't got shit to do with me y'all niggas knew that y'all asses had to go to goddamn court before nine so why the hell would you schedule this appointment and furthermore i've been trying to get your location for how long and you thinking that you finna keep my damn deposit money and you cancel my appointment. Did not provide me with any other um dates in the near future or even after at when I needed it done. Like you just completely didn't give a fuck. Like, oh, sorry, your your, your um, appointment is canceled and pretty much that was it. And had a horrible attitude about it. And so I just called my bank to get my deposit back with her. Then another girl. I booked with to get some braids and sis. Um, I think it was was it the day before or the day of? I can't remember, but it was. I think I want to say it was the day before because I think I had uh, already washed my hair and blow dried it and everything. And she was like, because I was asking her for the address as well. And she was like, oh my bad, um, because I don't got no website. Um, it's hard to keep track of my um, bookings or whatever. So apparently, she booked, she double booked herself for that day. She booked me and somebody else, and was like, "Oh, I'm sorry. Um, can you come on so and so?" It was like all weekdays, and I'm working. I was working during the week, so I couldn't do that. Like I only could come the day that I had booked my appointment, and she wasn't trying to work with me on, um, you know, finding a day that would be good for both of us. And so then I asked her just to send me my deposit back. And she was like, oh, my cash app don't work. I can't send money on there. How you could receive money on your cash app, but you can't send it. Just like you figured out how to get that shit off of there, figure out how to run me my shit back. Like, child. So honestly, I really be feeling like slick burnt off of um Instagram stylists. Like I really, and it's, it's sad because I be wanting to support black businesses. I do support black businesses, especially if it's people that I know or somebody that I know someone who has been to them before and I know that they like a reputable person or business or whatever, but it be so hard sometimes. Like I do be wanting to support my people because you know, if I had a business, which I'm in the process of creating one. Um, but, you know, I want to make sure that people feel um, value as my customers or whatever. So, or clients or whatever you want to call. Because at the end of the day, these folks put money in your pocket and feeding you, this your livelihood. So, I think you should take some type of, um, you should care. Put some kind of care 
or importance into your business because at the end of the day, this is what feeding you and your kids. So being a little bit more professional would behoove you. I mean, anybody in their right mind would think to do that. But anywho, um, but yeah, this girl, like I said, I already just liked her vibes off the rip anyway. So I was not upset at the fact that she was rescheduling because she immediately came with a solution of a day to reschedule. She apologized and, you know, she offered a discount. So I definitely appreciate that because that's the first time that I've ever had an Instagram person um, freaking cancel my shit and actually like apologize for it and try to come in with some kind of, um, you know, customer service, um, not reparations, child. It's so much, <laughs> so much shit going on in the world. Why is that the first word I could think of? Reparations, but some kind of, um, solution and, you know, whatever, just to the problem. So I greatly appreciate that. And I got my coffee. My sister got me this mug. Her and my niece. I love them so much. So. I'm having me a nice cup of coffee with heavy whipping cream and caramel fudge waffle cone syrup. I'm back on keto, as y'all know. So, no more regular coffee creamer for me. Um, I am going to make a French toast bake this morning for breakfast once I get hungry. But right now, I'm about to go do some yoga and um, just try to meditate a little bit. And then I'll make breakfast. So let me go get this book I found yesterday in Five Below. I want to show y'all because I have been doing my own meditation and just, you know, doing my own thing, whatever I feel comfortable with, stretching my body out, relaxing, um, trying to clear my mind. Um, sometimes I pray or I just think about stuff or I think of nothing like just to get some type of peace and relaxation before I go to bed. Um, but it's morning time and I feel like I just want to start my day off on a positive note. So coffee and yoga slash meditation. I think this morning since I'm getting up and it's not like I'm doing it to relax myself to go to sleep, I may do more so yoga than meditation. But yeah. And... I want to show y'all this book too before I get started. I'm going to turn the arm off. And you know what? I want to get, I need to find my selfie stick. I don't know if I threw it in the trash. I'm in the car, y'all. So here's my bag from Five Below. And there's two books that I got. One of them is a journal that I plan on using for all of my business ideas for my business um, that I am starting. And I cannot wait to share with you guys. But as of now, um, I want to have everything finalized and legal and all of that stuff before I come on here and... Um, let it be known like and i mean it's not even like i'd be really on youtube like that right now so it really wouldn't even matter if i came on here and told y'all probably because it's not like i mean i don't have a huge following anywhere honestly i think the most people that i have on any form of social media is on youtube and i don't even be on here like that which is what's crazy so that should motivate me to be more consistent because i definitely could use you guys' ideas and stuff um, in regards to my business, but I want to be putting out the first few products first before I come and talk about anything. And I have um, a group of people that are testing out my products and stuff um, just to show results of those products. Um, so anyway, I'm getting beside myself. We supposed to be talking about yoga. So I got this 501 um, Anatomy of Fitness Yoga Exercises. And yeah, I just got this and it tells you um, what different poses and stuff like 
standing poses, forward bends, arm routines, back bends, seated poses and twists, reclining poses, and it's just an introduction about yoga and um about doing yoga for healing, the traditions of yoga, and then it's showing the anatomy of the body and all of the different muscles and stuff. Um and I guess just how you can stretch each one of those muscles out. So this would be good for like if you can target a specific area in your body that you feel like, oh, this is tight or, you know, I want to work on this area, but you don't know what specifically it would be like. You could look on here and you would be able to see um, what that area is. And I guess it would probably direct you to a pose or some type of stretch or something for you to do so yeah it's even showing like for your feet and stuff what to avoid and how to do correct forms and all of that stuff so i'm definitely going to be getting into this book and then here's my book that i'm going to use for just all of my ideas and everything it's just a blank journal it's a really nice one i like it so let me take this stuff in the house get this bag and i am going to turn my diffuser on upstairs to set my mood and we're gonna start some yoga.
okay so that is going to conclude my yoga for today and i feel really good i feel relaxed my back feel good too i tried to do some new stuff because since i've been doing this meditation and trying to do yoga or stretching or whatever um i just kind of went based off stuff that i could remember from when i actually was in yoga classes when i was in college i did yoga for a year and i definitely could tell the difference in my flexibility um just the way my body felt and everything like i loved it um i used to do yoga monday wednesday and friday and um i remember that first christmas break we had like after like the second or third week of being home I was like, I kept getting cramps and stuff and I couldn't figure out why, like what the hell is going on? And I thought about it, I hadn't been doing yoga. My body was so used to being stretched out and releasing, you know, tension and all that stuff and completely stopping all together because I was on break. I could definitely tell the difference. So I'm trying to get consistent and get back to the flexibility that I was at at that point and maybe even more flexible. Um, and then also it's really relaxing and I feel like it helps center you like with my breathing and stuff I can feel my heart and I feel like it's my body is in a rhythm like when I was just sitting there with my hands on my on my knees like I felt like my body was doing like this like as my heart was beating I don't know if I was swaying or not I know sometimes when I sit in certain poses or stretches or whatever I like to rock my body back and forth or you can do like a circle of motion or whatever is comfortable to you and I feel like that just helps to loosen your muscles up and I just it feels good to me like um so yeah this is not anything professional. It's just for my own um, self-care, you know? Something that I feel like is beneficial. So, yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed. Um, I'm about to chill a little bit before I decide to make my French toast bake because I'm not hungry. So, it'll probably more so be like brunch. Cause I probably make it at like 12 o'clock. I woke up at 9.30. Um, it's probably like 10.30 now, maybe. And I'm not hungry. I had my cup of coffee. I'm probably about to drink some water and just chill out. Um, till I'm ready to make breakfast. And I'll probably come back and show y'all my breakfast. And then let that be the end of the video. Um, but right now, I'm probably going to go ahead and edit my video from last weekend. That I was said I was going to have up before now but it's cool though because it's friday um y'all don't know my schedule i work monday through thursday 7 till 5 30 so i do 10 hour shifts four days a week so i always have friday saturday sunday off unless i decide to have my regular friday saturday sunday off and then take monday off and then the next week um i'll just work tuesday to friday and only have saturday and sunday off so i always have a weekend off always saturday and sunday off period and then another weekday and i just choose to let my weekday be friday anywho um so yeah fridays are days i like to do self-care which is why like um i had my nail appointment um fridays i would like get a wax get my eyebrows done and do my hair if i want to um face mask whatever i like to wash my clothes friday and clean up the house just do like um you know errands and self-care type stuff then saturday and sunday mainly saturday i leave for leisure fun whatever and then sunday um i like to try to prep my stuff for the week as far as um food or if i didn't clean up enough on friday or do whatever stuff on friday then i could do that on sunday but friday i at least like to do nails wax that kind of stuff and even if i don't clean up and all of that in the house i can do that on sunday so sometimes i might go out and actually like socialize friday it just depends on how i feel if it's been a long week and i just feel like i need a mental break Friday is completely dedicated to myself, but then I be wanting to dedicate Saturday, Sunday to myself too. So I have to find a balance depending on the weekend. But today 
Um, I don't have anything planned today, really. So I'm just chilling out and yeah, um, I may go in my makeup room and actually start clearing out that desk, throwing away makeup that I don't want and um, organizing through the clothes in there that I don't want so that I can start to actually decorate. And you know what? I told myself that I was gonna show y'all this room and that was going to be motivation because once I show somebody how junky this damn room is, then I feel like I'll feel obligated to to clean it up because y'all gonna be like, girl, did you clean that dirty ass room up? It's my bedroom. You know what? I should do a house tour, y'all. My TV mirror that I always take. Where is it? My finger. The mirror that I'm always taking pictures at. My three windows. My bed. Nightstands. See my little pictures on the wall. Got a little mirror right there. Some light, some light. All the pillows for my bed are on the floor. There's so many damn pillows. Um, let me show you. So we are leaving out of my bedroom. And this is the hall. Got a candle, some essential oils. This is my guest bathroom. Why well, I'm showing y'all all of this stuff and it's supposed to be, I said I was gonna do a butcher call tour. But okay, don't mind. Actually, I'll show y'all this bed. The bed is looking kind of sloppy because I had laid across that one day and I ain't straightened bed back up, but it's all right. This is my guest bedroom. And here is my supposed to be makeup room. So I have this huge freaking, um, what's this called? Bean bag from the ultimate sack. And I was in here on the computer one day. You see, I was being junky. I didn't even fold up the blanket or put the pillow up. And it has a footrest. Those are the shoes I had on. It's plastic. With the freaking, what's this? The cover came in. Anywho, I got clothes. It's thread on the floor from tracks that I was taking the damn thread off of. And then, here is my desk and you see how junky this shit is literally i would come in here and make a makeup bag like a small bag like that one or the little small thing with a handle there or i have the big case um yeah you see the damn trash can up there the cover to the light that go in the closet it's like a bag for a wig the stand for a mirror it's all kind of shit up here that i need to throw away and go through and organize because i really want to complete this room um so the room this is the whole room and I want to put a TV in here. I don't know if I should put it on the wall or do a TV stand. I have some gray curtains, but I'm not sure if I want to use those in here or not. I kind of want to get, um, like, you know, the canopy that come off the ceiling. So I want it to go over my bean bag. I saw one in five below, but I was like, mm, this looks like it might look kind of cheap. I probably should have got it because it was only $5. I should have just got it just to see how it looked. But anyway, so I don't know if I want to keep this whole setup on this side or move it to the other side. Then I also was thinking, because the reason I didn't put, when I originally put this furniture in here, I was going to put it on this wall, but I was like, okay, well, I wanted to get that big mirror that um a big mirror to go on the wall and i'm like how i'm gonna put a mirror in the blinds right there but then i'm thinking about it um hold on i wanted to flip the camera so i could talk actually you know what i'm gonna come and show y'all me on this big ass um bean bag i should have fluffed it out the last time i got off of it because it, it got the little dip in it as you can see. But anywho, um, what you call it? Yeah, I was thinking about, dang, why I didn't, um, you know what? I don't, I don't feel like doing all that. Anyway, so, um, 
yeah so i was thinking about putting the desk and stuff in front of the window but like i said i wanted to have a big mirror on the wall right there on top of the desk but then i started thinking about um once they came out with those impressions vanity mirrors that got the lights on it and it actually will sit on the desk so that's a little bit small that's a lot smaller than the mirror that i was wanting to put up on the wall um and then honestly with a big mirror like that of what i was wanting to put on the wall it ain't even like i would really be using that for my makeup because i like the mirrors that um magnify up close on your face with the light on it um i don't feel like getting up right now to show it to y'all but i like using that for my makeup anyway so i feel like the impressions mirror will probably be better on top of the fact that i probably will be using that magnifying mirror that's up close to my face anyway actually to be doing my makeup and if i was to be doing my hair then the bigger impressions mirror will be okay for that so i'm kind of thinking once um because i'm the like within this month i want to like try to get this room decorated and like livable like i want to be coming in here and doing shit. you know what i'm saying like actually utilizing the room more than what i do now i used to come in here and do my makeup but then this desk you see how junky this shit is and um so yeah i don't even really be coming in here like that no more but anyway um i really just use the room for storage and junk honestly the damn door be closed and nobody ever comes in here so but anyway like i'm saying so i want to move the desk if i move that over here i could put me some curtains i slick i could even put just some sheer white curtains and then that way um i guess then i would be able to move this i could move it over there maybe only i'm trying to figure out where i will put this at because then i also want to do a tv but if i do this if i put that over here then I maybe could put the TV on the wall on this side and then have the bean bag over there on that wall or I could flip it vice versa put the bean bag over there only thing is that door but then I mean the bean bag it should, the door should still be able to open with that I don't know anywho but this room is like a work in progress and I want this to be a um like a start to finish type thing for this room. You know what? I should do like a clean with me in here and decoration. So what I need to do is buy all the shit that I want to put on the wall and my um, curtains and stuff. And then come in here, clean up and then put everything up and have it like a start to finish. And I think that would be so nice. Um, so maybe I won't even include this footage inside of this video, this vlog um yeah i probably could use this for another video so anywho this is how your girl be up in here and my you can't even see my feet on the footrest but yes honey this is a nice comfortable cozy bean bag and it feels like you laying on the couch or in the bed honey and i could be sitting in here just watching tv chilling chillaxing but yes i'm excited to do this room now that i came in here to show y'all like i really do need to get it together so that this room can be utilized and another thing i wanted to use my bean bag to sometimes sit in here and just reflect turn my meditation music on and just lay back and close my eyes and just think or write stuff down, journal, whatever, like just a different scenery from being in my room, being in the living room. I don't go in my guest room like that, but um, you know, like I said, just a different scenery. And my theme for this room, I want it to be really pretty, but then also I want this to be a motivational space. Um, so I really want to put a lot of stuff on the wall that is like motivational, pretty much. So positive affirmations, um, just positive vibes like all across the board and i don't know if i i don't know if i have any specific colors because at first i would just want to do white and gray because those is my favorite colors to decorate with and maybe like some pink or something but honestly 
I don't even really have a color scheme that I can think of. So, hmm, I don't know. Anywho, I'm rambling, so let me get up and end this video because I've been recording too long.